Hi, this is Gilly, Radio Prepper. In this video, I'm trying to uh, make an antenna using copper tape. Now, I found this on eBay. Uh, this one's a little wide, it's uh, 15 millimeters, but uh, they have them in uh, 10 and 5 millimeters. So, this would be uh, essentially for uh, people, uh, someone in an apartment, for instance, or maybe you have a rental for your vacation or a hotel room or something like that and uh, you can't really put an antenna outside. So I thought, well, why not use this and stick it on a window and <laughs> make an antenna? You know, and we'll see if that works. I'm not quite sure. Uh, this is actually used to uh, prevent snails and uh, other critters from uh, getting into your uh, your flower pots uh, and things like that so but it's of course copper so it's conductive hopefully I can solder on it uh, I'm not quite sure about that I'm just sticking that on the window so I'm gonna try that see how well it sticks maybe too well <laughs> we'll see uh, maybe I'll just tape it to the window uh, with uh, scotch tape uh, just to avoid having to scrape it from my window uh, because I don't own this apartment so but uh, let's see if this will work because uh, I think it's fairly interesting uh, it could be something that you you know you could prepare your antenna in advance and uh, the day you need to use it you know to, just peel off the back and stick it on the glass and uh, and you're good to go all right I'm doing this for science guys I'm gonna stick a piece on my glass door here and we'll see tomorrow if I can take it off so it's been a couple of days and uh, let's see if I can easily remove this. Well, it seems to come off. You might not have the easiest time of it, but I think it's usable on glass. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to make a simple dipole, a vertical dipole. Uh, We'll discuss the uh, other antennas that you could make with this uh, copper tape. Uh, there are many, many uh, things you could do with it. And uh, I'm sure you might think of some that I wouldn't think of. 49 centimeters. Now to get at that number, um, my frequency target is 145.5 megahertz. So I took 143 divided by 145.5 I got uh, 98 centimeters which is the half wave and then I divided that by two because I need two quarter waves and uh, so it comes to 49 centimeters if you do that in standard uh, you would use 468 divided by the frequency and then you divide that by two and you have the length of your two pieces so since this is a dipole, it has two pieces. So I'm going to cut it here and then make a second one. As simple as that. Then second one, I'm just going to put it on the other one. And I have my two quarter waves, 49 centimeters each, or about 19 inches for each part. For the uh, central connection uh, feeding of the antenna, I have this uh, discarded piece of coax. I'm just going to shorten it. And I have a barrel adapter here, B and C, so I can plug in my coax on the other side. The advantage of this tape is that it's very easy to solder on because it's so thin. Now I'm using some lead free uh, solder here and really never buy that crap because it's just it's just awful it doesn't stick it doesn't flow uh, it needs like 480 degrees uh, it, it's just it's gonna go to the trash bin basically I ordered some real solder and I'm waiting for uh, for the spools to arrive but in the meantime I have to use this uh, stupidity here and it blackened my soldering iron too you can see the tip here is, is like Child black. I should protect my table here, really. Uh, that's not a good thing to do. I've been soldering since I was 10 years old and I've never seen something that bad. Look at this. And I tried a few brands, you know, I mean, two brands, okay, not a few. Uh, I tried two different brands and the uh, same thing. In France, it's hard to get uh, lead solder because of the environment. And the funny thing is, you know, lead comes from the ground, it's mined. So if you lose a bit of lead and it goes back uh, to the ground, it just goes back to where it came from. And this is becoming a rant against uh, lead-free solder. 
But really, I mean, I have good reasons, you know. I can't even use the tip of my soldering iron, and it's at 480 degrees Celsius. It has a hard time to stick to copper. <laughs> it's just, it's just crazy. I even have uh, projects waiting that I'm, I don't want to start because I can't use that crap. Here I have a uh, Norcal 40 clone that I'm building, and I can't finish it because of this solder. It just, it just won't work. I've destroyed, utterly destroyed uh, one flight controller, a drone flight controller because of that stuff and I also damaged a uh, video transmitter so just because the uh, the pads were destroyed by the solder the high temperature and never buy lead free solder so here I have about a centimeter extra so I'm going to uh, shorten the ends uh, well you know what I'm not going to shorten them right away I'm going to stick them on my window on my door here and uh, we'll see you know better too long than too short I'll check the frequency and we'll see if it works. So it's going to be in a contre-jour <laughs> with the light uh, coming from the wrong direction here. So uh, you're going to see shadows. But basically I'm peeling the top piece of tape here. You can see my J-Pole antenna on my terrace in the background. I'm going to stick this here a little bit. Uh, you know what? I'm going to stick it out of here. Then I'm going to peel the bottom half. It's a nice day today, but it's, uh, it should be 15 degrees Celsius, so that's not bad at all. There's snow on the mountains, but I can't go to the mountains because we're on partial lockdown, so to speak. And that's about it, guys. Let's put the analyzer on. Okay, I did put some masking tape there. Remember, masking tape is the harm operator's Best friend. You don't want your coax cable to go straight down uh, alongside the antenna. You want it to go 90 degrees across. Probably should go a little bit further than that, you know, like a half wave. First scan uh, 140 to 148 megahertz, and we can see here that the uh, resonant frequency, well, it's fairly flat, but uh, the resonant frequency is about around, I'd say, 141 megahertz. So the antenna is too long, obviously, and uh, the SWR is not that great. It's 2.5 to 1, so, but that might be uh, environmental. After cutting off uh, quite a few centimeters, uh, I uh, got it up uh, quite a bit, uh, that's what she says, to 140, 145 or so maybe, and uh, we'll see the SWR. And it's 1.9 to 1, which really isn't too bad uh, given where this antenna is installed. Now I have about 7 meters, so about uh, more than 20 feet of uh, RG316 coax here, so that's a lot of losses uh, at uh, 145 some megahertz. Not the best uh, coax to use, but the, you know, it should work. Uh, let's try to call the uh, local repeater and see. Bonjour, ici Gilles, F4 Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, F4 WBY, à l'écoute. Oui, bonjour, euh, comment ça va euh, M.A.T., oui, c'est... Euh, ah, je me souviens plus du prénom. Le prénom ici, c'est André. André, oui, très bien, André. Ben, euh, merci hein, d'avoir répondu à mon appel. Je suis en train de tester une antenne, là, toute simple, que j'ai faite avec du... Euh, comment dire de, Du scotch euh, en, en cuivre euh, adhésif que j'ai collé sur ma fenêtre <rire> pour voir si ça allait marcher, hein. Tiens, bah, je vais essayer avec ma, ma J-Pole. Je vais connecter ma J-Pole et puis on va voir si ça marche mieux euh, que ça. Ok, euh, bah, j'attends là. As you can see, I made a nice uh, 3D printed box here for the, uh, the connector. So, uh, that should uh, work well. André, ici Gilles, euh, F4, euh, Whisky, Bravo, Yankee pour un autre essai. So it does work, uh, of course, uh, not as well as my J-Pole here, but uh, I guess you could make a J-Pole out of copper tape. You could make a lot of things. You could make even a Yagi. <laughs> you could make a quarter wave with sloping uh, radials. You could make a lot of different antenna types. Uh, that I leave that to your imagination. Moxon, maybe, uh, anything that basically is flat. 
you could make uh, with copper tape stuck on a window. You could even stick that tape on a roll of paper and make, let's say, a Yagi Uda antenna, so directional antenna, that you would simply roll up uh, and then you could lay it uh, flat on, say, a wooden table or a glass table and that would work and you could just have to turn the table to <laughs> switch direction. Uh, maybe, a, you know, one of those round tables with, that can swivel. But, uh, you know, you can imagine a lot of uses uh, of copper tape like this, uh, not only for shielding, but as an antenna element. And that's all for this one. Have a good one.